In this video, we will show you how best to scan for nouns, and equally importantly, which nouns to scan for. Effective noun scanning is harder to master than number scanning, which is a technique covered in another video, but it can yield impressive results. Our objectives over the next few minutes are to define what noun scanning is and give examples of how to use this technique to answer questions quickly. First, what is noun scanning? Noun scanning involves picking the most salient or usual word from a question, almost always a noun, and visually scanning the text for that word. For example, if you were given an article on the habitats and behaviours of crab-eating macaques, and then were asked, the crab-eating macaque likely cleans potatoes it is found prior to eating them because... There are several words that we might scan for. Crab-eating macaque, cleans, potatoes and eating, but only one of these is the best word to scan for. Before I tell you everything, I'd like you to choose which one you think you should scan for. As the article is on macaques, there will likely be several mentions of that word in the text. Therefore, scanning for macaques won't get you to the relevant information quickly enough. The word cleans is a verb, and the problem of scanning for a verb is that the text could have used synonyms such as washes or scrubs instead of the specific word cleans. The same applies to the word eating. The best word to scan for in this example would be potatoes. It's a noun and it's specific and likely only to come up a couple of times, allowing you to locate the relevant text very quickly. Now let's try this technique on a full-size text. Give yourself no more than two minutes to answer all four questions. Question 1. The fact that Komodo dragons are reptiles that display group behaviour in hunting is likely mentioned because it is predictable, extraordinary, falsifiable, disturbing. The answer to action 1 is extraordinary. Which noun did you scan for in the question? Scanning for Komodo dragons wouldn't help. Those nouns come up too often. Same thing for the word reptiles. It would be best to scan for hunting or group behaviour. These are specific and unlikely to come up that often. We find both mentioned in the penultimate paragraph in the sentence Komodo dragon group behaviour in hunting is exceptional in the reptile world. The word exceptional means unusual or extraordinary. Hence this is the correct answer. Question 2. Komodo dragons are said to prey on each of the following except Timur deer, invertebrates, other Komodo dragons, amphibians. The answer to question 2 is amphibians. Did you spot the accepts? We are trying to find the odd one item in this question. Scanning for Timor deer and invertebrates quickly shows that they are prey for Komodo dragons. 
It is harder to scan for whether Komodo dragons eat each other, as you must spot the word cannibalistic, which tells us that they do. Instead, scanning for amphibians leads to no results, meaning it must be the odd answer out. Question 3. A Komodo dragon aged 10 months is likely in the incubation stage, recently hatched, recently matured, more than halfway through its expected lifespan. The answer to question 3 is recently hatched. The best noun to scan for here is months, but remember to also keep an eye out for similar related words. Scanning for months will lead to the near end of the text, where it says that the eggs are incubated for 7 to 8 months, which isn't that helpful in itself, but shortly after it says they take 8 to 9 years to mature and are estimated to live up to 30 years. A 10 month old Komodo dragon is therefore neither in the incubation stage, recently matured or halfway through its expected lifespan of 30 years. The answer to question 4 is the number of Komodo dragons dwindled in the Pleistocene. Did you spot that this is also an odd one out question? The correct answer shown in the screen was the only answer not supported by the passage. The obvious noun to scan for with the correct answer would be Pleistocene, which could be found in the second paragraph. Here the text states the relatives of the Komodo dragons went extinct after the Pleistocene, but it also gives us no evidence of pertaining to the number of Komodo dragons during the Pleistocene era. This statement is therefore not supported by the passage, making it our correct answer. If we take a look at the other options to consider in question 4, Komodo dragons can climb trees is supported by the text. Scan for trees and in the last paragraph you will find that young Komodo dragons are vulnerable and therefore dwell in trees. A Komodo dragon living 750,000 years ago on the island of Flores would have had a body size comparable to that of the present day Komodo dragon is also supported by the text. Scanning for Flores gives us the information that the Komodo dragon's body size has remained stable on Flores, one of the handful of Indonesian islands where it is currently found over the last 900,000 years. Names for places like this make excellent words to scan for due to the capitalisation of the first letters making them stand out from the text. Make sure you try to look out for these capital letters when practising these questions. The last option, Komodo dragons are larger than the cascade lizards, found today in the New World, might seem to be unsupported but this is a trick the UK cat can sometimes play. Scanning for cascad lizards gives us nothing, but try scanning for large or size. The opening paragraph tells us that the Komodo dragon is the largest living species of lizard, meaning that it must be larger than the cask lizards, as the question statement says they also are a living species of lizard. We hope these questions give you plenty of practice at noun scanning and that you now love this technique as much as we do. Keep practicing it though, as by doing so, you'll get more efficient about picking and finding the right noun. Good luck!